what's up y'all i hope y'all ready for some steaming hot it's about to get popping type of tea on my world street segment y'all because i just can't believe it i cannot believe it but today we're gonna be talking about miss sheree whitfield who gonna check me boo okay she is getting fined a thousand g's for not getting the proper permits for a major housewarming party that she taped for the show last month and i'm like wait a minute you getting on kenya about not having her ish together and you ain't even got your ish together i'm confused on this whole back and forth of the chateau the more manner i just can't take it okay but it says she accepted the fine as a part of her plea deal with the solicitor as well as she will be under supervision probation by the city for 18 months to ensure she files the proper permitting in the future mm -hmm. but check this out y'all uh, <laughs> a neighbor by the name of david good showed up at her hearing friday morning he called the cops October the 28th when he saw a dozen of cars show up in his cul-de-sac. He like, wait a minute, I ain't got no party going on. What the hell going on around here? So he said that um, people was parking on the lawns and they blocked the street. He said the show installed a big spotlight that wasn't allowed there. Dang, I said, I tell you these neighbors, boy, don't be messing with them um, high-class neighbors. I'm telling y'all snitches and sn they ain't about to have all that around their um they neighborhood they are not about to have all that foolishness okay he was saying that it was an invasion i guess an invasion of privacy <laughs> he said an absolute invasion oh wow so whitfield also didn't have a certificate for occupancy occupancy i think that's how you say occupancy well, y'all know what I mean. She she didn't have no certificate to have all these people in her house. Or is it really her house? I don't know. So, <laughs> the production company, True Entertainment, which creates Real Housewives for Bravo, was too fine $1,000 for not providing proper permits, security, or parking. Joy Chen, who oversees production, declined to comment. I bet she did. The $1,000 also included $500 for a June 23rd event at Kenya. Oh my gosh, and I got Kenya too. Kenya Moore's nearby house that also didn't have a... What the hell going on with Real Housewives uh, production? Y'all ain't... Y what was really going on? So she Kenya didn't even have a permit for her um housewarming party. What the hell? But they went on ahead and aired that ish, I tell you. So um they got some more information the battle of the houses between the two women has been a major storyline this season with the two ladies betting who would finish their home first well they should have been saying who gonna do these permits for these doggone houses first talking about see, I, foolishness Whitfield began building her home from scratch in 2012 Moore purchased her home nearby in 2015. We know this. And, okay. So, it says, after the hearing, Whitfield deflected blame when speaking to Channel 2 Action News. If there were cars on the lawn, they weren't my guests. I provided shuttles. <laughs> That's not what your next door neighbor said, boo. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, he he Okay, her next door neighbor said... The city over the years has given her wide latitude concerning the slow build out of her home. That they were plenty of reported cold violations at her property. The party was the straw that broke the camel's back. I, I bet it was. And whatever shuttles she provided were clear, clearly inadequate for the volume of party goers and crew that was involved. Mm, mm, mm. Lord have mercy. So during the hearing, Sandy Springs Judge Candace Howard asked Whitfield in the future to take extra steps not to interfere with the neighbor's privacy, prov provide security to deal with paparazzi and traffic control. She also told Chin of True Entertainment, be very careful as well as take extra well basically same thing she told Sheree 
just abide by the rules damn it okay keep people from walking across other uh people's property and that's just one-on-one -on -one neighborship i'm gonna call it that's my word neighborship goddamn okay i think she was a little overboard Whitfield said after hearing the referencing Howard's. Oh, <laughs> that's funny to me. But y'all tell me what y'all think about this in the comment section below. And I will see you on the next word on the street. Peace. Hell to the nah, to the nah, nah, nah.